So we're going to play this a little differently this time. Let's go ahead and we're going to launch. I'm going to go ahead and launch F-22s first. We're going to go and launch eight of them in groups of two. And then we've got one tanker going up to play support for our fighter. In fact, we're going to go ahead and just, I'm going to do this a little differently this time. And actually, I'm not just going to launch it. I'm going to launch all of my air assets. So all my F-22s are going up in the first wave. Um, and where are my typhoons? Typhoons. Launch as group, launch as group, and then I'll hold back for right now. I will then hold back my eight F 15 C's for basically being the second wave. And actually, what I want to do is I want to add a new point here and add a new point say here and add a new mission i'm going to call it we'll call it a support mission and we'll just call it rally we'll call it, um, just call it strike rally so that'll be our strike rally point just take that off don't enforce the flight size or anything like that. And then what I want to do is come back to here and assign all of my the fighters that I just launched to that rally mission. All right, so now they will all They'll all take off, and instead of me having to manually direct them to the rally point, they'll now make for the rally point on their own. And starting to identify targets now. SU-27s, SU-27s, and MiG-25s. So that, that actually answered a big question of mine about what the engage or the prosecution zone of these guys actually are. And I thought they'd probably cut off somewhere about here, but now I know that they will pursue my my support aircraft. So something to keep in mind. All right, so two fighters. There's the E-8 and the tanker. All right, so Op-4 is launching more fighters now as well. All right, and so something I want to go and adjust. If, uh, if you come into weapons release authorization, and I want to find the Meteor. All right, so this controls the range with the, in which they'll automatically fire. And so if we come and look at the Where's the meteor? All right, so let's choose one of these. So there's the meteor. So the meteor has a 75 nautical mile range. So then back to the weapons re release authorization. Find the meteor. So this will fire basically what amounts to max range. So I want to pull that to 60 nautical miles. So that'll be 15 miles inside of its fire range. Sh shooters per salvo, one unit, and it'll fire one round per salvo. And then we want to fi find the AMRAM. So AMRAM C. Let's see, who's armed with AMRAM C's? Let's find. Amram D's, Amram D's. Um, A120C's. Uh, 
main 120Ds. Who's got the... Strike Eagles, aim 120D, aim 120D. So who's actually got the... Okay, aim 120C. So the aim 120C has a 60 nautical mile range. And then the aim 120D, I think has... Yeah, 75. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna pull the C back to 50 nautical miles and the D to 60. Meters more or less than anyone MRMD, yeah it is, but I think there's has a range of 60. Um, yeah, good point there. So I'll pull mine to 60, and then, so the A120s, I'm gonna pull the A120Cs back to 50 nautical miles, default range, and then the A120Ds, will get fired at. So they've got 75 nautical mile range, so we'll go the same 60 as we're gonna fire the meteors. So that'll pull them pretty well inside the engagement envelope. And then that's all I really want to adjust here. Storm shadows, I... As Rams, I'm okay with the sidewinders and all that firing basically at max range, because their default range, their max range isn't that long, or isn't that far to begin with, so. All right, now we can continue. All right, getting radar contacts now. Looks like we're getting fire control radars. And so far, nothing out of Yucca. So I'm curious, do you guys prefer to have the sensors all turned on, or do you guys like sensors just on the selected unit? Second and third groups of F-22s are up. All right, so we're gonna basically knock up, we're gonna basically pound in the front door with our F-22s this time around. All right, so more F-22s are coming up. We got five groups up. So that should be, oh no, I guess I got a group of Typhoons in there. How did I? S I thought I launched these two typhoons like after I launched the F-22s. Why are they? Um, never mind. Sometimes it's best just not to wonder why the game does things. So just out of curiosity, if we were to take that distance now, so there, that's about the distance now. If we were to fire, we could probably engage those. What are those? Make make twenty nines. So we're gonna go blow open the front door with our F-22s and our Typhoons and throw our 5th gen fighters against their 4th gen fighters. Well, I guess our 5th gen and 4.5 and gen if you count the Typhoon as a 4.5 and gen fighter, which I do. Man, that's a lot of up uh, 4 fighters up right now. I'm going to be happy that I've got those F-15s in reserve. Although part of me wants to launch even the F-15s right now. But I really feel like if I launch all... Since I can't reload, I feel like I have to hold some of my air... Or offensive counter air units in reserve. 
But that's an awful lot of fighters coming up right now. Um, you know, I'm going to go ahead and just go and get those F-15Cs up now. Signed a mission, watch this group. Signed a mission, strike rally. Signed a mission, strike rally, watch this group. All right, so we'll hold four of our F-15Cs back and pretty much everything else is going to be in the air. And we'll wait till everybody's kind of on to the point. No point in engaging with half of our uh, current fighters are still trying to get into position. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. There's a lot of, <laughs> of Op 4 fighters up right now. All right, so first group of F-22s is on station. Typhoons are just about on station. What we got? Is that another fighter coming up? There is another fighter coming up. Classified as an SU-30. Which means there'll be another one right behind him. There's our F-15Cs. Yep, there's the other one. Just got another SU-30 coming up as well. Wow. And I think there's another one. Yep, there he is. Probably another four. You know, I honestly think you pretty much have to launch all of your air units now. I don't think there is holding anything back, to be honest. Might as well. And uh, launches group, assigned to mission, strike rally. Launches group, assigned to mission, strike rally. All right. So that'll put pretty much, that's now all of my dedicated air-to-air -air units now basically assigned to take off. And I think it's just about, once this last group of F-22s, Flight 1067, reaches the station, I think it's going to be time to go and uh, start the party. All right, go and unassign this group. Turn in. Unassign this group. Go ahead and turn in. fire. Weapon is unable to engage imprecise target. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my F my Typhoon's back here. There we go. We're going to use my Typhoon's here as the active targeting for my for my F-22's. My F-22's will hopefully be firing from stealth right now. So they're not dodging. So they may not know that they have incoming missiles. No, they know now. There we go. Missiles are in terminal. Got them. There's two. There's three. 
And four. Perfect. And those missiles are probably not going to hit. That's a, they're maneuvering. They're probably not going to unless we get lucky. Oh, we got one. Not bad at all. Not bad. All right, now we've start. Now that we've kicked up the hornet's nest, let's go and get this a group of F-22s now to kind of pull back. Um, they're at, now out of missiles. Go sensors off. Actually, keep their radars on because I think they're actually tracking targets. And then unassign this group of Eurofighters, turn them in. Unassign the Raptors, turn them in. Here we go. All right, so now everybody now is should be coming off the station. Definitely got the jump on them. Oh, no, no. More kills. What if the AMRAM can... I don't think... Can you retarget an AMRAM? I don't think so. Alright, lost one of my Euro fighters. But he can now turn back. He can now go... Sensor's off. He's out of Sidewinders, but go Radar's off. And actually, he's still got Amram's go Radar's on. We'll play a little... Help out our AMRAM targeting a little bit by keeping some radars on. Oh, even our F-15s back here are getting in on it. And I wish they weren't, but... So far, this, en this engagement is going much, much better than it was before. Um, all right, so let's get the F-22s pulled back. So our looks like we've got some missiles coming in on our Eurofighters. Please don't get them. Lost one. So what do we got here? Whoa! All right, so we did lose. That was close. All right, so how how are things looking? 
we pretty much have cleared the air. Um, let's go ahead and get F-22s. Let's go ahead and finish cleaning up here. Oh, they're at, they're way down low. They're at fifteen thousand feet. Wow, they're way down low. F twenty twos are closing in. Come on, boys, get them, get them, get them. Sidewinder, gun kill. Got a gun kill with the F twenty two. Yeah, that was awesome. All right. Um, guys, you you want to take care of that F twenty two that's right behind you? Okay, you you need to go back to base because you have. Oh shit. Okay, m missiles missed. They they. So they're out of sidewinders. Got him. All right, so what do we still got left here? Don't think anybody's actually got much left. A couple of All right, well, we've pretty much... Uh, we can go ahead and kind of pull back the the air a little bit. Let's see, we still got some. Let's go ahead and commit the F-15s, engage him. And with that, I think we can, at Kushan Gaming, a Russian somewhere is butthurt that a raptor <laughs> dominates a flanker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. All right, so and actually still have quite a bit of units. Go ahead and assign everybody back now to the strike rally. I want these guys to engage. Hang on, where are you going? Engage him. He's closing in on our F-22s. Can we... There we go. Got him. All right, so now all of our fighters should now be returning back to... Turn on the sensors of you. He knows he's got missiles incoming now. Yep, turning. He's got two M-120s coming in on him, though. And let's see. So, got an F-15 maneuvering. Damn it. Lost him. 